Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here. Welcome to KSP Fundamentals, where hopefully I will teach uh, those of you who, who are struggling with the game a little bit some of the fundamentals of the game and how to do things that seem impossible in a fairly simple way. We're going to start out uh, as simple as you can get, and that is getting into orbit. There are three parts of getting into orbit. That is uh, the launch, the first 10 kilometers of the launch. Uh, and then there's your gravity turn. And then there's finally the circularizing of your orbit. We're going to cover all three of those today. Um, this is an extremely simple rocket. This is about as simple as you can get. Uh, it has a LVT-30 at the bottom. It's got uh, the longer fuel tank and then the half-size fuel tank. It's got a decoupler. It's got uh, an LV-909 liquid fuel engine. It's got the small fuel tank. This is the one you start with. It's got some solar panels just so we don't run out of power. It's got another decoupler, your, your simple command pod, and your simple Mark 16 parachute at the top. Um, that's it. This is a very good test uh, machine. Um, it's got a little bit of a margin for error. But if you can't get to orbit with this, you should keep trying until you can. And the first thing you want to do whenever you want to get into orbit is to hit the T key to turn your SAS on. The second thing you want to do is throttle all the way up. And the easiest way to do that is with the Z key. I did that before I started recording. And the third thing you want to do, of course, is hit the space bar. Now, while you're launching, the, the most important thing for the first 10 kilometers is to hit certain... Uh, milestones, and that is, the first one is you don't want to be going over 100 meters per second until you are over one kilometer up. You notice I throttled down a little bit there to make sure that happened. The second milestone, and I'm keeping it roughly where the throttle was to get to that point, which is important as well. The second milestone is at four kilometers, you want to be going under 150, but you want to be getting kind of close to it, and you'll notice that my throttling down has not been enough. So I'm going to throttle down just a little bit more to keep it under 150, ideally, until we get to 5 kilometers. I'm actually going a little too fast right now, but it's not too bad. Now, I've throttled down a lot, so I'm going to throttle up just a little bit to make up for that. Because when we hit 7 kilometers, which we're basically at now, and I'm going too slow now, we want to be at 200 meters per second. And then the final milestone is when you start your gravity turn at 10 kilometers, you want to be going 260. And I'm, again, going a little bit too fast. Now, when you hit the 10 kilometers, you want to do your gravity turn, and most people like going to 45, and I'm going to do that here. Uh, 45 is the line on the bar. Once you get to 13 kilometers, you can throttle up, and it don't care about your speed anymore. Once you've gotten your gravity turned at 45 degrees, that's when you want to switch to map mode. And it's very important that you do this right. You want your apoapsis, once you get up to about 30 kilometers with your apoapsis, you want to start turning yourself down so you're not aimed perfectly correctly. Now, there's one problem in map mode. As you're flying, eventually you're going to get to the point where your apoapsis stops going up. What happened? Well, go back to the ship and you'll see <laughs> you ran out of fuel. So hit the space bar to launch the next stage. Back in map mode, you see our apoapsis is going back up. And anybody who keeps it at 45, you'll notice that uh, that that your apoapsis, your, your orbit marker as you on your ascent, is going to be a lot uh, steeper than this. And you don't want that. That's why I've switched over. And I'm, now that I'm above 50 kilometers here with my apoapsis, I'm basically thrusting sideways. I actually am thrusting sideways. Um, what's nice about that is that's going to get your orbit a lot more circular, uh, a lot lower. And it actually saves a little bit of fuel. So as we're doing our as we're doing our burn to get into a higher orbit here, what you want to do is you want to get your apoapsis obviously above the 70 kilometer limit, which is as high as Kerbin's atmosphere is. I like to get a little bit of a margin for error, but not too much. Once I get up above say 85, uh, 85, there we go. That's a good place to set your orbit. Now we can't really do anything with it while we're coasting through the atmosphere. So I'm going to time warp myself up to four times time warp just by hitting the greater than key. Now we're coasting up here to 70 kilometers. Once we hit that, the music will start and that'll indicate the fact that we're in space. And here's the point where we want to create a maneuver node right at our apoapsis. It's in two minutes from now. 
In this maneuver node, we want to pull forward on the maneuver node marker until we see a periapsis coming out. Now, we don't care what that periapsis is at. Just keep dragging this slowly until you see them switch. Once the periapsis and apoapsis switch like this, that means the orbit is basically circular. This is 85 by 84. That's pretty close to circular as far as orbits are concerned. Now, down here on my nav ball, which you'll see I've slid to the side using the enhanced nav ball mod, um, I like that because it lets me see more what's in the middle of the screen. And I can also make it a little bit bigger to make uh, hitting these things a little bit easier. But other than that, I don't have too many mods uh, on this game because I want this game to be mostly stock uh, so that you can, you can recreate it without having to install a whole bunch of mods. But now we are waiting for... Uh, the burn's supposed to take place in 10 seconds, so we're actually waiting for 5 seconds before the burn starts. And we're going to use the Z key again to hit the to hit the gas and get ourselves into orbit. And we just want to want a quick, easy 10 second burn right now. We're just going to let this thing finish, and then we're going to hit the X key once this gets down to almost zero. That should be perfect. Let's check out our orbit. We're going to delete the maneuver node. And we're going to see that our apoapsis is at 85, our periapsis is at 80. Could be a little bit better, so I'm going to thrust up a little bit. 84 by 85. Boom! We are in orbit. So, really quick to recap. You want to thrust full throttle until you either reach 1 kilometer or 100 meters per second. If you reach one kilometer before you've reached 100 meters per second, you're pretty much good, but you want to be close. If you're not close to 100 meters per second when you get to a kilometer, you're going to want to redesign your ship to have more boosters. Everybody likes more boosters, right? <laughs> if you uh, are hitting 100 meters per second before you hit one kilometer, you're going to want to throttle down. And if you're hitting it significantly before, you're going to want to think about redesigning your ship so that it doesn't have as many boosters. I know, less boosters isn't as cool as more boosters, but sometimes less boosters is actually the best way to go. Um, when you hit four kilometers, you want to be going 150. When you hit seven kilometers, you want to be going 200. And when you hit 10 kilometers and start your gravity turn, you want to be going 260. I'm actually going to deorbit this guy while I'm talking. When you start your gravity turn, the first thing you want to do is do a fairly aggressive 45 degree turn to the east. When you hit 13 kilometers, you can throttle up all the way because by that point, uh, the atmosphere is thin enough that drag isn't really a concern anymore. Then, when your apoapsis gets up to about 30 or 40 kilometers, you're going to want to start turning farther down than 45 degrees. I like to go down to about 30 degrees or even lower once you get above 30, uh, once you get your apoapsis above 30 kilometers. Then, when your apoapsis gets up to about 50 kilometers, you should just go sideways and burn sideways the entire way. Subrockets aren't going to have the beef to do this, uh, so you might need to tweak it a little bit for your own concerns, but with this rocket and with any rocket you design, you should try to, get, to go for that sort of thing so that things are consistent on your launches. That's the most important thing while learning, is that things are consistent for you so that you can develop your good habits. Then, once your apoapsis gets up to about 80 or 85 kilometers, you want to cut the gas, coast into space, and then make a maneuver node so that your apoapsis and your periapsis on the maneuver node line are roughly the same. And finally, you want to burn that maneuver node to get yourself into orbit. And once you're in orbit, you're halfway to anywhere. So we're going to ride this capsule back down into the atmosphere and into eventual landing. I just want to say thanks for watching, and if you have any uh, suggestions or any uh, requests for uh, fundamentals that you're having trouble with or you think other people have trouble with, uh, feel free to request that or mention it or otherwise say it on my YouTube page. Uh, you can... Uh you can just comment there, and you might see yourself or your question in the next KSP Fundamentals show. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed doing it for you. I am Fifth Horseman, and I win. As always, talk at you later.